Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in, coming back and watching. I appreciate it. Hope you're doing really well. Staying safe, taking care of yourself out there, that sort of thing. And if you're new here, I'm Jim. It's great to meet you. I make tutorial videos here every week showing you how I edit my photos using various software products. Today I'm talking about Topaz Denoise. They just had an update. It's a great product. I've used it for years. I absolutely adore this thing. And I find, in my personal opinion, that it is the best noise reduction anywhere. I'm going to show you a couple of examples. They do have it on promo from now until October the 9th. It is usually about 80 bucks and it's on sale for about 60. If you're a current user, it's a free update. If you have a current license, if you have an expired license, it is an upgrade fee of I think about $49. I'll put a link down below. Topaz did change earlier this year to a paid upgrade program. Um, but uh, you can just go look in your Topaz account on their website and see if you qualify. Regardless, it's a fantastic product. I want to walk through a few examples of how I use it in my workflow and show you just how powerful it is and also talk about a couple of the new features. Now here we go. I just took a photo, a high ISO, like ISO 5000 of this old camera here that is sitting on my desktop. You've seen it. Uh, in fact, there it is. You can see it now. Um, I just wanted to take something high ISO just to give you a demo illustration of how the product works. As you can see, it'll automatically start applying noise reduction to your photo. Um, and this is not a full tutorial of how to use the product. I just want to talk about a couple of things. Um, number one, they now have a new compare mode. So now in the view, you can go to this comparison view and it'll show you all the different modes. And I've got it on auto update preview. So it's calculating the update and showing you live what all four different types of, uh, or not all four because the original is in the top left, but in the bottom left, you have AI clear. Uh, method, you have the denoise AI method, and at the bottom you have the low light method. And you can see that in all of them, it has cleaned up the noise nicely. Now, uh, I'm going to change back to the traditional single view, and I'm going to just move over here, and I want to show you like there it is a pretty close up of the camera. You can see the noise, and if you turn on auto, it, it'll automatically select a mode. Uh, so I'm going to do that real quick. It chose denoise AI. And it picks a specific level of noise reduction, but I want to go higher. I really want to go smoother. This was shot really wide open, like F 1.8. And so I focused on the outer rim here of the lens. And so this Japan area is in focus and you're going to gently fade out of focus uh, further deep in the photo. But I want to go ahead and bump up the noise reduction, something pretty high, like maybe 70, 75 and show you what it looks like and because it cleans up so nicely. I mean, it's beautifully smooth in my opinion. Just take a look at this here. It's about to come into focus here and there you go. I mean, look at that image. I'm, I'm excited. I mean, it's perfectly clear and crisp here where it has the brand Yashica, Yashica. I don't even know how to pronounce it. It's an old, I don't even know if it works. It's an old camera that I have as kind of a dust collector. Um, and with a high noise image, it looks like it's collected a lot of dust. But if you look at this here, it's so crisp and clear. Let me show you the original again. There it is. You can see in the uh, upper part of this photo here, as I'm zoomed in, you can see all the noise. It's across the body, it's across the lens, and now it's perfectly clear. And yet I didn't lose the sharpness there where it says Japan and the brand and, and all that kind of stuff. That is still really sharp and lovely. I absolutely adore this product. I think it's fantastic. Um, I have a link down below. It is an affiliate link. If you decide you want to purchase this, obviously you're under no obligation to do so, but I get a little bit of credit if you do that. That helps fund the videos that I do for you guys here every week. And I'm going to keep including Denoise AI because I just love it so much. Anyway, take a look at that. I think it's fabulous. One more time. There's the before and the after. Now I'm going to get another image that's actually really a low light image and show you that one as well. Okay, this is a Milky Way shot that I took earlier this summer when I went to Colorado. And uh, here you go. I'm going to zoom in really close. And I got to be honest, I don't really think the image is that crisp. I'm not much of an astrophotographer. I need to work on it. But the power of the product, I'm going to go into low light mode and I'm going to bump up this noise reduction. And I want to show you how much of a difference it makes in the photo. And there you go. Let me show you the original. There's the original. You can see it's fairly noisy. And there's the, uh, the, the post. Um, let me do a split view. Look at that. Just the difference between the left and the right, I think is massive. And what I want to do is actually show you an edited version of this photo with Topaz Denoise applied. Okay. So here I am in Luminar fully zoomed in. You can see I've got my Topaz Denoise AI layer here. If I turn it off, that's the amount of noise that I had in the image. 
and there it is after. And just for info purposes, I shot this at ISO 10,000. I think it's done a fine job of cleaning that up. One more time, there's the before and the after. And if I just zoom out, I can show you the full image. That's my edit based on where I started, which was there. So um, obviously I had took some creative license. Topaz Denoise is fabulous. It's fun, it's powerful. It's my favorite noise reduction product. As I said, you can get it for a special price now until October 9th. It's also part of their utility bundle, which has several other Topaz plugins. Again, I'll put a link down below. Check it out if you're inclined to do so. And that's really it. Just wanted to give you a quick heads up on this promo offer and show you the power of Topaz Denoise AI. I love it, especially that camera photo. I mean, I just think it cleans up so nicely and yet it retains sharpness. And that's another thing is you can do zero sharpness. You don't have to have any sharpening because there is a little bit of a sharpening uh, method within Topaz Denoise AI, but you don't have to use it. And along with that new comparison view and there's GPU optimization included, you've got a powerful product for, I think, a very fair price. Check it out if you'd like to. I appreciate you guys checking out my videos. I'll be back soon. By the way, if you haven't yet, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about videos about Topaz. There's a lot of things I wanna do and talk about. I do love the products and there's a lot of things that I think I can cover. I hope that they're helpful. So if you have ideas for me, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up. I'll see you soon, my friends. Have a great day. Take care and adios.